Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to film a no makeup makeup look because I wanted to test out this new foundation which is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. Um, I used their mousse original foundation that came in like a little pod so long ago and I don't remember if I liked it or not. It was just so, so, so long ago. Um, but I've heard really good stuff about this and it's full coverage and anything that is full coverage is definitely up my alley. So we're going to go ahead and try this foundation today um, along with a no makeup makeup look. If you guys want to see how this foundation works out, keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and hydrate my skin with my Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. Okay, so I was going to actually um, do a voiceover for this, but I just wanted to say that I got the foundation, and one of the things that I loved is the fact that it has a pump, but the pump doesn't work. I've been, like, messing with it for, like, 10 minutes, and it's just not, nothing's coming out. So I'm just going to have to unscrew it and do it this way. Okay, so moving on, I am using a Real Techniques uh, foundation buffing brush on one side of my face with the foundation. Um, if you were wondering, I'm in the shade number 40. I really do like the color. Um, I like the way that it looks, um, but if you notice right in my cheek area, uh, it's breaking up a little bit. Um, I believe that this brush isn't great for it. I like a Kabuki brush. Um, so I'm just showing you the difference here on one side and the coverage on the other. So on the other side of my face, I'm going to use a beauty sponge and I'm just going to dot the foundation all over my skin and then just work it into my skin. I'm just really pressing the foundation into the skin. Um, truthfully, I feel like a beauty sponge was lifting too much of the product so it wasn't giving me the coverage that I wanted. So you'll see how I kind of go back and forth uh, with a little bit more foundation uh, just to achieve the coverage I want. So I go back in with a brush and just kind of add a little more foundation in the areas where I feel like the sponge has lifted it and then just smooth it out. Um, I think this foundation is great. I just don't know that I would use this brush again. Next I'm going in with my favorite concealer ever in Tarte Shape Tape and Light Medium. Um, I just, I can't get away from this concealer. It's so full coverage, it's just so beautiful. I kind of want to get a lighter shade but this concealer does me right every single time. So I'm just applying it under the eyes, uh, in the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. And I'm just blending it all out with a Real Techniques beauty sponge, but first I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush, blending that out, and then the edges I'm blending out with the sponge. I'm really, really loving blending my concealer with a brush, which I never thought I would say, but I do. This concealer is so, so good, you guys. If you still haven't tried it, you have to. Next, the best translucent powder I have ever used, the MAC Patrick Star Translucent Powder. And I'm setting all that concealer under the eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, anywhere I applied concealer. And I also am now using it to set my entire face. This, I don't know what kind of voodoo Patrick Star put in this uh, translucent powder, but it is life. It's it, it's life changing. It's so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows out off camera and through the magic of editing. Boom, I wish it was that fast. Next I'm going in with my Aesthetica Cosmetics Contour Kit. I'm actually using that for my eyes too. This is a very, very simple eye look. I am just adding a little bit of life back onto my eyelids, a little bit of color, and a little bit of contouring using one of the contour shades. Just curling my lashes. And I'm Next I'm going in with a little mascara, and this is the Tarte Tartist Mascara, and I'm kind of digging it. This is the first time I've actually used it on camera. It's the first time I've ever used it. I got it on my BoxyCharm December box. Yes, get it, girl. And I'm just highlighting my brow bone with a little highlighting powder and popping on some lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. They're super natural and super easy to pop on. Applying mascara on my lower lash line, and we're going in with contour. I love this contour shade. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and use a crown brush just to warm up the skin and kind of bring my face back to life, bring in a little dimension. Pop out those cheekbones. Don't forget to bring it into your forehead. Next, I'm going in with another crown brush, but this is called a chisel brush, and I'm really just carving out my cheekbones um, and giving myself a little more contour. Contouring my nose with the same powder. This, I forget the number of the brush, but I'll put it down below. It's a Morphe brush. Next, for highlight, I'm going in with the ColourPop highlight in the shade Wisp. This is such a pretty highlight shade. It's not like crazy overpowering. It's definitely build buildable, but the formula is just so finely milled. It's so soft. It's like touching silk. So I'm popping it on the tip of my nose and a little bit on the bridge and kind of giving yourself a little button nose, a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush. This brush is uh, very tight and dense. So this is gonna help place the color and I'm just really uh, building it up because as you can see you can't you can hardly see it at first but the more I add um, it doesn't emphasize uh, texture but it, it just starts becoming more and more bright next I'm going in with a fan brush and I'm just kind of blending that highlight into my contour so it all just kind of melts in and there's no harsh lines I'm really just pushing the highlight back a little bit above my eyebrows and then a little bit in the center of my chin next I'm going in with some blush and I'm going to use this color right here I believe it's called unstoppable and I'm just using a stippling brush and just adding some on my cheeks this is such a pretty color again I got this in my December boxy charm and I'm just applying that in between my highlight and where my contour is and just kind of blending it in. Next, I'm going to just carve out and clean up my contour on the bottom a little bit using the Patrick Star uh, powder and this Real Techniques brush. And you can already see it's, it's just cutting that cheek, girl. Now I'm using a MAC um, liner. I believe this is Oak and the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer um, Gloss in the shade Tease. This gloss is so super pigmented. It's beautiful. Just sweeping away all of that translucent powder. And then I'm gonna go back in with some uh, Heritage Store spray and just really melt all that makeup into my skin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and leave me any comments or requests um, in the comment line below. Thanks guys.